Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now we've had absolutely stacks of announcements from Apple today. New MacBook Airs, new Mac Minis, new Thunderbolt displays, and of course, Mac OS X Lion. Now, normally I do coverage on everything, but for today I'm just going to enjoy myself because I want to just install Mac OS X Lion. And I've been um, downloading it. It took uh, about 20 minutes to download, something like that. Now, I just want to give you all a heads up as well. I actually ordered some of these little tiny USB drives, 4 gigabyte ones, and I ordered them in white because I just thought it would be quite cool to get a little Apple logo put on there. But the 4 gigabyte ones aren't big enough to do a clean install of Mac OS X line. So you're going to need 8 gigabyte or bigger. Now, the only other one I've got lying around is this Transcend one, which happens to be 32 gigabytes. So I'm going to use that for the install. Um, I'm going to pop that into my USB socket there. Now, I'm going to give credit to this website because I'm going to be following a guide. I didn't know how to do it, so I did a bit of search. Eggfreckles.com, really cool looking website. You can see it on your screen now. And this talks you through how you're going to do the, um, the clean install. So, um, I'm recording this with ScreenFlow, so when I get to a certain stage, I'll have to switch over to another method of recording. What we're going to do is we've got the Mac OS X Lion install that we've downloaded here. I'm going to actually right click on that and go to Options and Show in Finder. And this shows the install uh, just here. I'm going to right click again or Control click and do Show Package Contents. And that shows the actual contents of the uh, of the installer or of, of that little package that you've downloaded. We're going to double click on contents, go to shared support, and the one we're looking for is this install ESD DMG file. That's the one we need. Then we're going to start up disk utility. So we get disk utility up and running. And the first thing we need to do is I'm going to do a clean format on that USB drive. So I'm going to highlight it here. I'm going to go to Erase, I'm going to change it to Mac OS Extended Journaled, and I'm going to call this uh, Mac OS X Lion Installer. And then we're going to click Erase. It asks me to confirm, and I'll confirm, and then that completely erases the drive to a fresh drive for us to use. Now whilst that's completing, I'll just um, drag my other little window just to the side here because we're going to need this in a minute. And that's finished now I think. Yep, so we've finished there. Now back onto Disk Utility, we're going to click the Restore tab just up the top there. And we've got two fields, a source and a destination. We're going to drag the install esd.dmg file into the source. We're going to drag that freshly formatted USB drive into the destination and then we're going to click restore it asks us do we want to erase, yes we do and then I'm going to type in my password and that should start the process going so it's now copying the blocks across, it's copying that installer image across to the USB drive now just while that's doing that I'm going to pause the video in a minute we're just going to read forwards on to here. Um, so once Disk Utilities restoration is complete, you'll be the proud owner of a Mac first aid kit capable of booting and installing Lion Clean. When we're rebooting my MacBook Pro, I'm going to hold the Option key down. That's between the Control and the Command key, the one that says Alt. Um, so we're going to hold that Option key down, and that with that USB stick in the USB uh, socket on the side of the machine, that will allow us to boot from from there and then we're going to go through the process of erasing the hard drive on my Mac um, and then once it's wiped clean I'm going to do the fresh install fingers crossed it works I'm going to pause this video now and I'll be back to you in a short while right guys well we're ready we've got the USB drive mounted on the desktop here ready to do the upgrade we're just going to stop this time machine uh, back up going and then we're going to do a restart on the system and we are going to hold down option as we restart so here we go we've got the uh, boot options here MacBook Pro, the Windows partition 
or Mac OS X. We're going to select Mac OS X and that sets everything booting from that USB drive. So here we go, this is the boot screen. We're going to use English for the main language. And here we've got restore from Time Machine backup, backup reinstall, so set up a new copy or repair or erase a disk using disk utility. We're going to do that first. So we're going to select the uh, internal drive and then we're going to reformat it as MacBook Pro and we will say erase. I no longer want that Windows partition I had on there, I never used it so that's gone. And so we're finished there, we're going to click quit and then we're going to say reinstall Mac OS X on this option screen here. Click continue and it's saying set up the installation, we'll click continue. We have to scroll down and read all this, well, we're not going to do that. Can't even scroll the right way anyway because the scrolling is reversed. But we will click agree and then up to agree here. And then we're going to choose where to install. We're going to install the MacBook onto the MacBook Pro. And it's preparing, downloading additional components. It says your computer will restart automatically. So we are going to uh, pause the video here and I'll come back to you when the install is nearing completion. Here we go, we've got the selection screen, so no startup animation or music. We're going to select United Kingdom, British keyboard layout, and then it's looking for networks. So we have going to select our, my Airport Extreme, it's asking for the password. And we will click continue. And then it's asking us do we want to transfer from another Mac, from a Windows PC, Time Machine or other disk or don't transfer now. Well normally I don't transfer anything, I do fresh install on uh, these new systems. Then it's asking for my Apple ID and password. So we've just gone through the setting up the user account and then we get to select a picture for our account. I'll obviously change this later on. We we'll click continue. It's telling us about finishing up so we've got new gesture uh, information here about scrolling up so it's just telling us about this I think can we escape out of this oh no we've got to follow the click start to continue scroll to the bottom of the text and click start so it is reversed this is what fooled me again so it's reverse scrolling we're going to change that as soon as we can um, but this is now starting up so it's asking for the password which we're going to type in and we hit enter and there we go we're in Mac OS 10 Lion how cool is that looks really nice actually um, we've got this, the standard dock down here which we're obviously going to go into let's take a very very quick look in our preferences preferences all look the same it's uh, one of the first things I'm going to look for is it reversing this uh, scrolling which is uh, definitely the one thing I'm going to change. Looks pretty much the same in uh, this panel here. I'm really looking forward to using Mac OS X Lion. Um, thank you very much for joining me on this video. It's not the normal video I do, but I hope that's given you an idea of how to do a clean install on Mac OS X Lion. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video.